Hello friends, in this video, I am going to take an example. Now, let's see the example first. Example 6. Let's suppose you want to switch on a fan. Now, take the fan as coil Q1 by pushing or releasing a button and switch off the same fan which is Q1 again by pushing or releasing the same button. Ergo, sinus push button in a loop. Now, what I want in this question is, now you all might have seen a remote which we use to turn off a TV or to turn on a TV. Now, what you do is, you push a button and then release the button and you turn off or on the TV. Then again, you push on and release the button. Then switch on or off the TV or the remote of an AC or your phone, which is the volume button. You press and then release the button. That's how the push button works. Now, let's head on to the Open PLC editor. Now, for this example, I am going to need a contact PB and three memory bits, which is M0, M1, and M2. And then after, I am going to need a coil Q1 or fan. Now, first of all, I created a first rung here and I made the Q1 which is the coil or the fan a push button here and in series I attached a memory bit first which is M1 and I negated the memory bit in series with the coil Q1 and for the contact which is normally open as the push button PB for short. Now in second rung what I did is I created a PB which is normally closed and in series I kept the coil Q1 and thereafter the M2 memory bit which is normally closed and the coil M0 and I latched the M0 contact here in the parallel with PB and Q1 as you can see here. Now in the third rung here I created or I made the normally open contact PB and I kept it series with the M0 which is memory bit normally open contact and then after M2 normally close contact and M1 which is a coil and I latched the M1 here in parallel with the PB push button and memory bit which is M0. Now the last rung which I made is push button PB normally closed or negated here and then I kept the M1 normally open and M2 coil here. Now, I will start the simulation here. Now, the simulation is complete. Let me show you the first rung here and I will click on the debug instance. Thereafter, I will drag this up. Now all of the contact and coils are discrete. You already might know that. Now, first of all, I will clear these here and I will show you the fan or Q1 in sequence with the memory bit M0, M1 and M2. Then after I will show you the push button. Now, 
push button which is a physical switch here and M0, M1 and M2 are just memory bits which stores the information here 1 or 0 and the coil Q1 is the fan here or the output and PB is the input. Now I will first of all modify or force through the push button as you can see on the right side the Q1 goes true when I modify push button to true and when I modify the push button to false you will see that the Q1 which is the fan is still true now let me force true to the push button again here and you will see that when I force true the third time to the push button the Q first goes to false and when I modify the push button to false here the Q1 on the right side is still false now let me show you it from the start first of all I'll stop the simulation and then I will start the simulation again the simulation is complete and I will click on the glasses here then after as you can see the four rungs and the contact and a single coil here now first of all I will push and release the push button which means I will force true and force false to the push button the coil first as you can see on the right side is true and when I force true and force false to the push button again the Q first or the fan is false thus in a loop as you can see when I force true again and force false again to the push button the coil first or the fan is true and when I force true and force false for the second time or push or release the push button the coil first is false now if you do not know what a push button is you can go to the previous video and watch what is a push button this ends our video here thank you for watching 